Hi, my name is Josh. You're watching Hidden Hammock. And right now, I'm stealth camping next to a zoo in a park. It's dangerous, apparently. And uh, this is how I got here. My name is Josh, you're watching Hidden Hammock and right now we're in a train station Alright guys, we're on the start of a massive journey Today we're going to take a train into town and then we're going to jump on a bus and we're going to head out west and when we get out west we're going to stop and our destination out west is the zoo That's right man we're going to go stuff camp at the zoo I think it's a stuff camping first I don't think anyone's camped at a zoo before So yeah in New Zealand's largest city and we're about to catch us a bus head out west and we're gonna try stuff camp at the zoo today that's us Hidden Hammock Stuff Camping Alliance yeah 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 I don't think anyone's stuff camped at a zoo before I think it's a, a worldwide stuff camping first hopefully on first We'll see. All right, we're looking for a way out. Looking for a way. We on another stealth camp. Yeah. All right, I think this is our bus here. So we're gonna jump on this bus and we're gonna head out to the west side the best side and uh, we're gonna try to find us a zoo the stuff can let's go you got my seat <laughs> all right that's us guys we're on the mission let's go all right we are off the bus! Sorry about the wind today. Hello. So yeah, we're on a stealth camping adventure today guys. We're going to catch this train and we're going to find somewhere to stealth camp.
We're riding a tram right now and uh, we're on our way to go stealth camping. Now I got in trouble on my last live stream, uh, so I just thought I'd make this one a bit more PG than the last one. Yeah, I got in trouble. My, my last live stream got banned. For, uh, I don't know, being awesome? Yeah. Hello, sir. How are you going? Are you the driver, sir? Yeah, motorman. The motorman, is that the official title? That's the official title, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to go for a little ride to the zoo today, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and back again. So if you want to stand up in front, you're welcome to as well. Oh, really? All right. Okay, so I'll just let you know we're ready to go. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I actually came here today to ride this tram. Did you? And then I'm going to go to the zoo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. So uh, you, yeah. And I'm going to try and stay the night at the zoo. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. No, that's right. <laughs> All right. We're live in the front of the tram and we are heading to the zoo. They want to know what your name is, sir. Doug. 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 Yes. The, the, the driver's name is Doug. He's a very nice man. He's invited me into the front of the tram and we're rolling. They're all saying hello to you, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello. <laughs> Big shout out to Doug. What a gentleman. Yeah. Sweet ride. Hey Maltese Falcon, thank you for joining us. Alright, we're rolling with Josh from Hidden Hammock and Doug the train driver. And uh, this is how we're going. Man, this is this amazing experience. What an experience. Alright, there's a sign there guys saying Auckland Zoo. So we've just been rolling with Doug today on the tram. He, uh, he led us up the front. It's been a great experience, but this is my stop and I've got to get out. Okay, see you later. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much, guys. How was that, guys? Oh, that was a bit more better than my last live stream, right? All right, let's go find what else we can see, eh? I got all my gear here, guys. This is for real. We're just cutting across the zoo car park and we're going to sneak around the outside fence and see what we can see. And we've seen our first animal. That's our first animal right there. It is. Look, he likes us. Hey, buddy. Man, aren't you cool? Look how slinky you are. Yeah, they don't keep animals in cages here. They just let them roam around. I'm right now. I'm walking around the perimeter of the zoo. So this is a public park, and this is the zoo fence. And I know for a fact that in here is the elephant cage. So let's see if we can find an elephant. There's one, guys. I don't know if you can see it there. Can you see an elephant? I'll keep walking around. Oh, we can't go there. There's a swamp. All right. Man, I'm getting so hot carrying this bag. It smells really funny too, like elephant poo. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm smelling elephant poo or what. Okay, guys, we're going to sneak down the side of the zoo fence and see what we can see. Oh. Right now, filming a, another stealth camping video for y'all. Oh, look what we found. All right, here we go. There. Bam! There we go, guys. There's an animal. We're at the zoo. Yeah! Thanks, Rich Spillman. I try to bring you good content. Apparently, YouTube didn't like my last live stream. Uh, yeah, they just, they just banned my last live stream. It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, this one's a bit more PG. But, yeah. I don't know, I don't know where I'm gonna stay tonight, guys. Like, uh, I gotta find somewhere to camp tonight. So yeah, I mean, there's not many places for us to camp next to the zoo. 
<laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to end this live stream soon. And, uh, and then I'm going to join you guys for the premiere. And after the premiere, I've got to really find somewhere to stealth camp. But yeah, I, d I don't know where I'm going to stealth camp. Um, hopefully as close to this elephant's cage as I can. Uh, <laughs> but we've got a lovely stream that walk, goes right next to this fence and then there's a park on the other side there so yeah I'm sure we'll come up with something <laughs> we just finished the live stream it was pretty awesome we caught the train we caught the tram sorry and then we walked around the perimeter of the zoo and look right now we have this elephant, oops, I have to film through the fence because I'm not inside the zoo. But yeah, we have this elephant and he's just munching on some bamboo and he's just chilling. What a great spot to be. And no, no joking, that branch that you can see snap just snapped then. The elephant just freaked out and there's some staff there. Sorry about the footage guys, but it's hard to film through the fence. Yeah, no, I'm not joking. That tree just snapped right now and the, and the elephant jumped up and now they're coming to comfort the elephant. Look at them, man. They get so close to him. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl elephant. I can't tell. Well, he's going to come and clear the branches. So beautiful, eh? Oh, you're going to eat some of that, buddy. Wow. Yum. Yeah, um, look, at, look how close they get to him. I'd be so scared. Drag it. Drag it down, buddy. All right. So this is what's going down. This branch is broken. These zoologists have come out and they've brought a rope. And I think they're going to get the elephant to drag this branch out. Let's see what goes down. Wow, on command, the elephant is stepping back. This is amazing. This branch just broke. They just brought our rope out. And now this elephant is decided to munch some leaves. <laughs> he dropped the rope and decided to munch some leaves. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Look at this. This is real, man. This is real. This is amazing. Oh, elephant's doing poos right now. Whoa, did you see that thing fall out? Wow, it just moved that log with its back foot too. Wow, it's doing elephant poos. Everyone's getting out of the way. Wow, it's still doing poos. Grab the rope, buddy, come on. Walk back, buddy, walk back. You can do it, buddy. Nearly. They're just giving it some love. How cool is this, man? I'm more closer to this elephant on the outside of the zoo than I would be if I paid. <laughs> if you like Hidden Hammock and you like my style of stuff camping videos, hit the subscribe. We were on the tram and we went live and we walked all the way to the edge of the zoo and we're right by uh, the elephant encampment the ele the what do they call it the elephant cage enclosure the elephant enclosure it's just started raining now i'm starting to get a bit cold and uh it's about 3 p.m in the afternoon i got about two and a half hours worth of sunlight and uh we're gonna get out of this rain try to stay warm and find us somewhere to stealth camp next to the zoo all right let's go how's that guys that was awesome live eh thanks for everyone showing up to my last premiere too that was cool i just sat right by the fence so yeah we just went live and then i just had my premiere afterwards and we just sat right by the elephant's enclosure and now we're walking along this river looking for somewhere to stealth camp let's go Okay guys, in the distance I can see a small walking bridge. We're gonna walk across that walking bridge, make our way back 
up the other side of this creek. That's the plan. Anyway, I don't know. That's the plan. Hello. Hi. All right, guys, we're just making our way up this path. Once we get further up this path, we're gonna sneak down the bank, try to find us somewhere to camp. All right, I'm just gonna walk past. All right, no one coming there. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. This is us guys. This is us. Let's see what we can get away with. I'm just gonna have a little scout around. See if I can find us a good spot to camp. Head and hammock. Stuff camping by a zoo. I think it's the first time anyone's done it. So yeah, check it out. I think the zoo's about to close. The zoo's the elephant enclosure is right there. And I just got my bag there. And I don't know where I'm gonna camp tonight. Maybe a little bit down there. Or down there, but I'm just laying low here. someone walking past. Another person. She was carrying flowers. All right, guys. I got about 40 minutes left, the light left. I still don't quite know where I'm going to set up, but it's going to be somewhere around here. I'm just sitting on this massive log that I walked out on before. I'm a little bit nervous, right? This ain't, this ain't the, the safest end of town. And uh, yeah, a lot of weirdos walk around here. Um, so I'm going to have to have my wits about me tonight. Um, but you know, if anything bad happens, it's just going to leave the hammock behind, man, and run. But uh, yeah, i got about 40 minutes left. And... Uh, I gotta put up, I guess I gotta put up my hammock now. Just can't leave that too late. So that's us. Let's put up the hammock. Let's find somewhere, put up the hammock, and um, get ready to lay low. Okay, stand up, guys. Just hooked my bag up because I'm on this mad hill of Alina. I'm either gonna hook my hammock up to here, to there, or maybe this one to here. I'm just gonna have to play around, see what works. I'm on a mad lean, so I have to make sure that my hammock's out straight or else I'll be sliding down all night, you know? But yeah, I gotta be real careful, guys, so I'm gonna set this hammock up now. And bam, here we go. Here's my hammock. Now it's getting dark now. I gotta still put up my tarp because it is that was starting to spit rain then. So yeah, I've got a little bit of light left and it'll be dark time. And uh, yeah, that's us, stuff camping right by the zoo. Hell yeah, hidden hammock. I can hear lions. We might be in for some nature noises tonight, guys. That was the prime objective for camping by the zoo, was to see if we could capture any animal noises at night. So I've never slept next to lions or elephants or monkeys or beavers. It's all a first for me. Yeah, welcome to the staff camping safari. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, I put up my hammock. This house there, went from that tree that tree so this is real guys this is going down i'm stuffed camping by a zoo tonight okay guys i set up the top it's getting dark now the sun's nearly gone this is us right next to the zoo i heard a bloody elephant or a lion before this is going to be crazy yo anyway wish me luck it's dark time it's night mode i don't know what that spotlight is 
people is coming from the zoo. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update. I can't have my light on for long because this is a hella dodgy spot. But uh, yeah, I'm just laying low. It's 7.30 p.m. I haven't heard many animal noises, to be honest. They were all at dusk, like lions and elephants. Now it's pretty quiet. I can just hear sirens. There's this weird spotlight that keeps shining over here from the zoo, but I think it's, yeah, not a, nothing to worry about. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll check in soon. All right, guys. Just wanna show you what we got to eat tonight. I got a pack of M&Ms, just plain old M&Ms, no peanuts, just the normal ones, nothing special. I've eaten half of them, but I'm still starving. And uh, yeah, I, I'll be scrounging up the candy tonight because I got this half bag and I got another bag of jubes that, yeah, in my bag. And I got a bottle of Pepsi. So that's us. We got a helicopter close by. Yeah, we definitely got a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. All right, guys. I uh, I just talked to my sister on Messenger, and she told me that there might be 40 kilometer winds and a thunderstorm, but I don't expect it to come anytime soon. But who knows? Uh, we just got to be prepared for mega rain and mega wind but you know i'll just tie down the tarp things could get interesting and uh yeah we'll just see what happens might make for good content i'm just checking in it's about 10 p.m it's raining now i still haven't heard many animals a little bit disappointed but i guess they're all sleeping too and i've been getting texts from my friends they're telling me that i shouldn't be camping here this place is called Western Hills. No, Western Springs. Yeah, I said I should be get out of here. So I'm gonna turn the light off. I'll check back in soon. All right, guys. Down to my last scrounge of lollies. These are some hard jube sugar candies that my mum gave me before. I left on my trip like 10 days ago. They've been in my bag, so. Man, I'm really scrounging up the lollies. I'm gonna eat these now, because I'm starving. It's starting to get a bit rainier now. Yeah, she's coming down now, all right. She's coming down now. Well guys, it's been raining for hours now. I'm a little bit disappointed about the animal noises I was expecting to hear a lot more um, but it's been really soothing just sitting here in the rain all my all my friends have been texting me telling me how crazy I am for sleeping at Western Springs in this park and they reckon it's pretty dangerous here but yeah I'm gonna go to sleep now because yeah I need to get some sleep and uh, when I wake up in the morning, I'll show you, show you around and show you where we camped. But yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep now, guys. So, good night, YouTube. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. Oh. Well, I survived. Probably one of the riskier locations from humans, but the name of my mates texting me, get out of there, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. Didn't help, but I'm still here, guys. So, yeah. Could hear a few more birds this morning and animals, but it was silent through the night, except for the rain. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. I might just lie here for another 10 minutes. All right, guys, Weed in the Bushes May Challenge video is about to premiere in a couple minutes. I'm going to jump out of the hammock. It's been raining for 10 hours. I'll show you how wet it is, where we stayed, how my setup handled.
the 10 hours of rain that we just had constantly and uh, yeah show you how close we are to the zoo and and how well uh, I was hidden so this is us in here that's my bag last night it's the only place that kept dry I got my shoes on now pick up my rubbish that's mine whoa 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 Whoa, I just slid down the hill, got muddy ass. Look, I just slid down there. <laughs> That's us, guys. Wow, I got dirt all over my hand, my jacket. Okay, so that's us. We hooked up to there. We hooked up to there last night. I'm just gonna walk down the steep hill. There we go, in the bushes. You can tell how much rain we got last night. Because this is flowing, flowing fast. Now yesterday when we were observing the elephant enclosure that was right there. And last night we camped just there. You can see the shininess of my tarp. So yeah, we camped right across from the enclosure. Just in there. Just in there. See my top? Awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to sneak back into my hammock and I'm going to watch Weed in the Bushes May challenge. And then I'm going to pack up and go. And that's where I just slipped. <laughs> up and under the top. And back into the hammock. Whoa. Now they slipped again. All right, time to watch Weed in the Bush. So while I'm sitting here, I just want to give us two shout outs actually. One, to a super fan named Tyler Gill. Man, there's not a premiere or a chat room on YouTube stealth camping that I don't jump into and you're not in there, man. So Tyler Gill from Ontario, mad respect. You're a super fan and thanks for supporting the whole stealth camping alliance there's one more super fan i want to say some respect to and that's mr jody carter happy birthday bruv uh thanks for also being a super fan of the stealth camping alliance it's awesome uh having you guys in the community just always there supporting us so thanks tyler gill thanks jody carter happy birthday my man all right that's from it down here and we'll, we'll go up on that log there and see what we can see that way, eh? That's us. Oh. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Man, I'm getting wet and muddy showing you guys around. Look, they've been laying um, possum and rat traps, catch predators. Okay. So the pathway is just at the end of this log. You can just see the pathway there. And that was us last night. There, there's the top. So yeah, that was us hidden in there. And that's the elephant enclosure right there. So yeah, we stuff camped at a zoo last night, guys. Honestly, I expected a lot more mating noises, but obviously it's not mating season. And yeah, I was a little bit scared, like the animal might escape or a dangerous spider might have escaped the arachnid enclosure. Um, I was pretty scared of rats and possums, but looks like they trapped them all around here. And most of all, because my friends were texting me, what am I doing in this dangerous park? in the middle of New Zealand's largest city. Uh, yeah, they were really encouraging me to leave last night, but I survived the night. I'm here, I'm standing here today. In front of the zoo, 10 meters from the path, stuff camping in the bush. All right, team, time to pack this up. Let's go. And bam, we're all tidied up. There's my bag, picked up my rubbish, 
just left a few slide marks where I kept sliding down the hill. It was pretty dirty, man. I got pretty muddy. Yeah. But anyway, we'll tidy it up. Let's go. Yeah. Man, my bag's so heavy because everything's wet. Ah. Man, I love this log, eh? Oh my god, my backpack's so heavy. Oh. I only just got up there. That's us, guys. We're just somebody walking along a trail with a backpack now. So, I'm going to call this another successful stealth camp. Alright guys, I want to see if I can, I just want to go say goodbye to the elephant one more last time. So, let's come along the elephant enclosure. We'll say goodbye to the elephant because the elephant is going to go to Australia soon. I mean, it's a bit of a situation. They were meant to take the elephant by now, but they haven't. So it's still here, but soon it's new home will be somewhere in Australia because yeah whoa I just found a vape man that wasn't there last night someone dropped this last night I found a vape dude catching wow I walked along here last night I would have seen that vape because I'm used to looking for my shoe and my camera so I'm always looking down now and I didn't see that last night on my travels so yeah that's where we staff camp just up in there last night pretty sure yep just in there just in that bush right there let's say goodbye to the elephant hopefully it's still here wow it's still here can you guys see it through the cage cool way eh? it's digging so yeah straight up guys we stayed next to the elephant enclosure last night Ooh, look at this guy go awesome man that is so cool that is awesome <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to stealth camp by a zoo and upload it to YouTube. Someone else beats me to it by the time I've uploaded it. Well done. But uh, yeah, head in hammock, man. Stealth camping by a zoo. Stealth camping alliance. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty magical. You can just jump off a bus, walk through a park, up to a fence and see a, a real elephant, man. It's pretty awesome. I'm just sitting on this rock, just observing. OMG in it. <laughs> Goodbye elephant, time to go. What an adventure man. What an adventure. So yeah, I've been traveling for like 10 days or so. I'm probably gonna check into some accommodation because all my gear's wet, my sleeping bag's a bit damp and then I'm gonna catch a bus home and edit this video. I don't know where I'm gonna stealth camp next. Maybe I'll go home, do some spin the wheel stealth camping. If you guys like that, I might do another one of them. And uh, I don't know, maybe try go for the abandoned cement factory. I don't know. I'm talking it up. That's crazy. All right, guys. I was gonna roll onto the playground, but there's too many people. Would have got in trouble. I reckon. Well, a bit of social punishment anyway. Like, what are you doing up there? You're an adult. Stop having fun. All right. That concludes another episode of Hidden Hammock. My name is Josh. You just watched some real stealth camping, and uh, get ready for my next video. Hey, guys. All right, we off the bus now, back in the main city. I'm starving, man. Man, I'm, 
I'm never hungry when I'm out staff camping. It's like I'm at war. Like when I'm out staff camping, I feel like I'm at war. That's why I'm not hungry. That's why I don't cook stuff. Plus, it's going to give away your position if you're in a high risk stealth camp. So yeah, I'm about to check into a motel, have a hot shower, and just eat, man. I'm going to eat and eat and eat because I'm starving.